guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Justin's Got the Tea. Today's video is different. It's going to talk about depression and some of the ways I found out that I was depressed. Um, depression comes in many forms and a lot of times we don't even realize that we're in the state of depression until we start looking at some of the symptoms and looking at the signs and realizing that, oh my God, I'm depressed. One of the ways I found that I was depressed is that I had no sort of energy to do absolutely anything. Anything that I wanted and needed to do, it took every part of my being to actually get done and accomplished. That was something that was very hard for me. Um, if it was to get up to get in the shower, it felt like it was a job. If it was to get on the phone and talk to someone, I felt like it was a job. I really didn't realize how depression affected me until, again, I started to look back at all of the things that I was going through. Um, you know, that commercial about depression and how depression hurts, that's true. My body started aching based on where I was with my emotions. You'd be surprised how the emotions in your head can create physical aches and pains because one, you're not as active anymore, you're just laying around, and I couldn't get out of my bed. I remember just feeling so sad, so down for no apparent reason. I felt like, geez, like what's going on? But there were reasons why my depression was manifesting, and I will speak on that maybe in a, a later video when we, you and I get to know each other a little bit more because those things are extremely personal to me and once I will share why I get into that state, but I wanted to speak about the, the effects of depression and the signs that people should look out for if you know someone who is a family member or a friend and they might be going through a little something. Look at those signs. You know, things that I love to do, go to the movies, I didn't like to do anymore. Uh, makeup wasn't fun for me anymore. I still wore it because I needed to keep a mask to, to mask my feelings, but depression hurts, guys. I could remember, could not focus. I couldn't seem to focus on anything, and every little thing I felt like was not being noticed or not being looked at, and it was me. It was me going through the motions, feeling this anxiety of not getting things done, not feeling accomplished, not feeling valued. And in some ways I was like, well, this is me feeling this way because of depression, you know? And it took me a while to kind of own it and actually articulate and say, yes, Justin, you have mild depression. And I'm gonna say mild because I was able to, and I'm still pulling myself out of this rut, I call it, because when a person who is strong and who people know as the go-to person always kind of becomes the savior for everyone else, I made a post on my Instagram a few months back stating to check on the strong people. Because the strong people, those of us who are the ones who lift people up, uplift them, give encouraging things and say things to keep people afloat, we are the ones sometimes that are like, help me, help me, I'm sinking, I'm drowning. And we're waving those flags, but we're not good at telling people, hey, we need help. And I'm putting this video out so that maybe I can help someone actually going through this to tell you that things do get better. Um, I just put myself in a position to start thinking about things to be grateful for, gratitude. And that was some of the ways that I was able to come out of this dark place. Being grateful for being able to speak, being able to talk, drink water, uh, breathe. I woke up today. I made it a routine to come out of my bed saying all of the things I was thankful for, feeling them, and then actually getting out of the bed and thinking about everything. Thank you for the soap. Thank you for the running water. Thank you for my apartment. Thank you for all of these things that before I was depressed about. I was depressed about because socially I felt like I lost a lot of friends. I felt like in a crowd of people, I was still alone. I was in a very dark place. And anyone who's been depressed knows that you can be in a group of people and still feel like the spotlight is on you because you're just there. And I wanna tell you again, like it does get better. And 
when you start having any sort of feelings of worthlessness or the feeling that nothing you do matters, guilt about every little thing, that's one of the signs I feel that'll tell you real early on that you might have some sort of depression. I am not an expert. I can only speak on how I felt and the things that I've dealt with and how I'm coming out of this rut. But I would suggest go to a doctor, speak to someone, um, get some sort of help. And a lot of times in the African American communities and Latino communities, we don't look at depression as something that's real in our households. We look at it as, oh, you're just feeling bad one day. Oh, you'll get over it. No, people, we cannot get over it. We have to address it. I think now is the time for a call to action. A lot of our youth and teenage are facing social depression. And I say that, and I'm probably not saying the term right, is this social media thing where they feel worthless because they're not getting the amount of likes they want or they're not, you know, people aren't really recognizing them. They're being cyberbullied. All of these things count into this kind of cyber depression and feeling worthless and seeing these people with their pictures and with their friends and they're laughing. Those things are what they create. It, People can create that and still go home and not be in a good place. And here we're thinking, oh my God, they're enjoying their life and what's so on and so forth. A lot of people probably couldn't even tell that I was struggling with depression because I wear pain very well. And that is not a good thing. I think when you wear pain well, no one can see. And if you're a person like myself who's very private and don't like to articulate that they're upset or they're going through something, those are the things that you need to actually say to yourself, listen, I am depressed. I need to get through this. I need to do some work and I'm still doing work. I'm still doing the work to get myself to a better place. But I will tell you, I wore bright color on this video because bright colors help you get out sometimes of this rut. I was wearing all black, which I love all black because black looks great. But those little things like that was showing me that I was not in a good headspace mentally. And there were things in my life that were happening that was creating the mental breakdown. And for that, I, I can say my depression I'm grateful for because it showed me how to come out of it. It showed me my self-worth. It showed me that I can do better. I can be better. And to know that there is the light at the end of the tunnel, that no matter what you're going through, there is someone who loves you. There is someone who's out there to listen to you. There is someone there who cares. And I want to also say that depression does not make you a mentally disturbed person. Depression can come in, like I said, many ways, many forms. There's help out there for every one of us and everyone. And I want to start by saying that I am here to help. If this video touches one person, one person, I'm grateful that you know you are not alone. And again, it'll get easy, it gets better, and trust and believe that if you have a, a higher being that you believe in, I believe in Jesus and the universe, and know that it's gonna be okay, that you have someone that loves you and cares about you. And if they haven't said it to you, I love you. Even if I don't know you, I love you. And if I know you, I love you even more. But no, guys, you can come out of this. This is a little different for me, this video, because I like to be jovial and happy, but I want to bring attention to, especially the youth that are taking their lives and all of these people that seem so successful that's taking their lives because of depression. We have to have a call to action and really make sure we are holding each other, our hands, we're touching each other, we're checking in to make sure that everyone is okay. Until my next video, guys, I would like you guys to really have some sort of dialogue and this was not everything this was just a bit and piece of my depression there's so much more but i want to make sure my videos are not 18 minutes long so there will be series on this and how i came out of it and what steps i took so if you were interested in that please thumbs this up hit me in the description in the comments let me know if you like it and I will continue this. Even if I don't get the likes, I'm gonna to continue to speak about these things because it is huge and it's something that I'm passionate about helping with people with depression. So guys, until next video, peace and love, and I'll see you next time.